Let's get that engine timing in proper position before we start the vanos removal. Turn the crankshaft pulley clockwise until cylinder one intake and exhaust cams point to each other at approximately 45 degrees. Now, you can turn the crankshaft counterclockwise. It's acceptable and it's not going to hurt anything, but I do it by the book. So, this is the idea of getting these intake and exhaust cam lobes at about 45 degree angle. Oh, and not a bad idea to loosen the spark plugs now that you've blown the holes out and nothing's going to drop down in that hole. Uh, that's the, one of the methods to my madness. Should make turning the crank a little bit easier for alignment purposes. You could even remove the spark plugs, but I'd advise to cover them holes up if you pull the spark plugs as you don't want to drop anything down into that hole into the combustion chamber. That right there could really ruin your day. Might even want to inspect the plugs or replace the darn things. Adjust the crankshaft pulley to adjust the exhaust camshaft at the rear where the camshaft has that square piece and make sure that it's flush with the cylinder head. Take your time doing this. You really do not want to mess this up. Time is money and creating a mistake here is something you do, do not want to experience. Now it's time to check the timing marks. Well, using a uh, mirror at about 11 o'clock, you should be able to see the timing mark and the hash mark on the timing cover. You basically tilt that mirror at about 11 o'clock position to provide the correct alignment view. Once you've done that, you should have that. There's a nice close-up shot of the TDC mark, or OT as it's technically called. You should now have everything in place and everything in the right position to start putting that alignment tool in the flywheel into its place for a nice snug fit. 